All right, so coming up next, first MMA fight of the night. Jake Caskey coming us. Coming to us from Groton, Connecticut, out of Dexter Valley Tudo, Dexter MMA. These guys bring it there. Nothing but savages in the entirety of that gym. He's making his debut, and he is excited as all hell to be making it against fellow debut and MMA fighter in Dan Walsh out of Lozon MMA. An exciting matchup indeed. And what a great card to make a debut. You know, I mean, in a sold-out Plymouth Memorial Hall after a year of no fights, I mean, this kid's got to be excited. Yeah, this is a great matchup too. You know, both these guys, you know, Jake Kasky, I was talking to Mike and he said that he was having a hard time finding this guy a matchup. You know, he has a very deep wrestling pedigree and uh, a lot of camps refuse to fight him. Um, you know, Dan Walsh coming from Lozon MMA, you know, Coach Joe Lozon is not gonna say no to anybody. So he has enough confidence in Dan Walsh to take this fight. And you know, here we are, great matchup. All right, he's got the Dexter Black toenails. That is Love for it. certain. They all, it's a trademark of all Dexter MMA fighters. The black toenails going in, it's a signature. I am a fan, and these guys, like I said, always come to bring it, even though we have yet to see Jake Kasky in action in any capacity of mixed martial arts. This is one fighter you don't want to blink at, and that is for sure. Yeah, and Dexter got three guys on the card tonight, and they always bring it, we know that. They're on a mission to pull off as many upsets as they can tonight speaking with them earlier and they've got a great opportunity to kick it off right now not that it's an upset per se but the away team looking to shock the crowd of sold out Plymouth Memorial Hall the next young man to walk to the cage is 20 year old Dan Walsh out of Lozon MMA a decorated wrestler in his own right with a huge background started wrestling that was his uh, that was his first love once he found Lowe's on MMA, it's so like, oh, cliche kind of thing. Oh, found wrestling, loved it, got into MMA. But here he is making that trek. You know Lowe's on is stacked on this card right now. So many professional fighters out of that camp. And they're all excited to watch this young man follow in their footsteps as he's excited to follow in them. You know, I remember training with Dan back for my last fight uh, back in 2019. And, and you know, he was just the young up and coming kid training with a bunch of savages over at Lozon MMA, you know, and, and growing up at that gym amongst all them killers, you know, I'm sure they are excited and so amped up to watch their guy do his thing. Yeah, I lo lo love watching the young guys, you know. I, I remember going to Lozon's years ago and Dan Walsh was still in high school and we were doing wrestling rounds. He was just a wrestler at the time, so so many years later, I love seeing those guys make the transition, make their debuts in the cage. A tough test ahead of him in Dexter Valley, Tudos, Jay Kasky. Both guys know nothing about each other. Oh and oh, two ghost eggs on both sides of the record books. And we know for a fact here at Cage Titans, when amateurs make their debut against another amateur making the debut, nobody knows what's going to happen and fireworks often occur. Well, it's always interesting when a debut fights a debut because there is zero, you know, true information on either side. Right. No one has an advantage of watching tape. And our tale of the tape for this matchup is sponsored by Main Street Sports Bar and Grill, America's hometown's favorite place to get a beer. All right, tale of the tape here. We have Dan Walsh, the younger man at 20 years old. Both guys came in even at 145. 5'11 for Danny Walsh, very tall featherweight. And he's got the reach advantage. Great matchup here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for this next matchup. An amateur mixed martial arts contest taking place at the featherweight division scheduled for three rounds, three minutes apiece. And ladies and gentlemen of Plymouth Memorial Hall, both of these fighters are making their MMA debut. So make some noise. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, Standing at five feet, seven inches tall, he weighed in at 145 pounds. From Groton, Connecticut, he's representing Dexter MMA. Let's hear it for Jake Kasky. And now introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, standing at 5 feet 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 145 pounds. 
from Needham, Massachusetts. He's representing Luzon MMA. Let's hear it for Dan, only Dan's Walsh. Your referee for this matchup is Alan Lau. How's that for a big pop? All right, let's get this party started. Oh, man, here we, here go. we go. First MMA fight of the night. Jake Kasky's ready to go. Both of them absolutely locked in. This is intense. He's got, they haven't taken their eyes off of each other. Right to the center. Dan is sabling his jab early. Yeah, Real. He's tall guy. He's got to use that Ooh. jab. Left hand from Kasky, who's in the red trunks, Walsh in the black trunks. Nice dig to the body from Kasky as well. He's coming upstairs with that left, right hook as well. Walsh doing great defensively, keeping the hands up. The southpaw. Oh, he's switching stances. They're both Kasky landing hooks. Is. Ooh, these guys are playing rock'em sock'em robots. I'd love to see Dan keep that jab going, keep his distance. He's a long nice. oh. You see that wrestling pedigree coming in, trying to get a bite on the neck, and there's a slip. Good job defensively keeping the hands up as he's getting up, but yep. Kowski's getting through with some of these right hands. They are money. Can't need the head in amateur competition. Try yeah. to go to the body there. Got to be careful. Such a tall kid. You know, I think it's important that nice both, right hand from Dan Walsh. both these debuters, there. it's a big moment, and you know, hopefully they don't let the adrenaline get to them because they are swinging early. Both of these guys just showing a ton of experience. I can't believe they're making their amateur debut. The head movement, oh, yeah. the slipping and ripping. Unbelievable talent from both of these guys. And contrasting styles here. Kasky being really aggressive, throwing big hooks. And Walsh is trying to establish that jab and set up the right hand. He looks like he's almost trying to weather the storm because you're looking at Kasky, and it's like, like you mentioned, that's debut. We've all been there. That adrenaline dump is real. You don't feel sure. it ever again other than your first time in there. So that's got to be bared in mind as these guys are putting everything they have into each other right now as this fight just starts. Nice left hook from when, Dan Walsh. When Kasky goes southpaw, he's doing a good job of keeping his foot Ooh. on the outside. Dan needs Ooh, low blow, low blow. Low blow there. But hey, were we just saying both these guys are wrestlers? That's yeah. what happens when you get two great wrestlers. They end up playing Rock'em Sock'em Robots with each other. Yeah, Love it. Accidental shot, nothing mal intended there. These guys are just throwing in a phone booth right now. Both of them showing excellent lead hooks. Walsh from the orthodox stance and Kasky from the southpaw stance. They're both catching each other on the same timing. Kasky's doing a good job switching stances, and I think he's definitely landing that left hand every single time he goes southpaw. You know, it's important for Dan to keep his foot on the outside so he can start trying to land that right hand and maybe a big kick. My walkout song. These breaks like this, they can be good or bad, you know, because your adrenaline's pumping, you're not sure if the adrenaline's gonna dump, or maybe you catch your breath. Well, I think that both of them were kind of experiencing an adrenaline dump. You know, oh, for sure. They came out very hard, and then, you know, it, they started to significantly slow down after a few big exchanges. If anything, I think this might give them a chance to kind of collect themselves. Yeah, for sure, you know, and at such a high pace, if you get a chance to catch your breath, take it. Yeah, with the low blow, they're allotted five minutes. Five minutes to recover. Up, he says he's good. Wise decision to take as much time as possible. Accidental low blow. They touch the gloves there, guy. and they're right back to work. Dan goes right back to the Oh, that's a nice hook. Oh, Both guys are swinging. Left hook oh. from Kasky. Both guys appreciative of that time off, though the low blow doesn't fare well for Kasky, but both got some more oxygen in the lungs. A nice left hook to the body from Kasky. Kasky's got to throw some straight punches and set up those hooks. Dan Walsh, so tall, and he's got a high guard. He's doing a great job of blocking. Ooh. Gave him a haircut there. Every single time Kasky goes southpaw, Dan has the opportunity. I mean, they both have the opportunity for that big rear kick. I'd like to see them use it more. He's going for it. He's just missed with that right high kick twice. Nice right hand by Walsh. Kasky's still swinging wild. A good front kick from Kasky as well. Nice oh, combination. Ripped the body. Oh, right hand oh. over the top from Kasky oh. and a left hand to follow. That one backed up Walsh. Both of these guys just throwing everything. Oh, oh he just kick. He ate it. 
legitimately just took it right on the chin. His head didn't even move, but that was a clean head kick. Oh, man. A few seconds here left. Wow. Oh. Great work by both guys. And he was able to hold back on the trigger on that last uppercut as the buzzer sounded. But what a first three minutes of mixed martial arts action for Cage Titans in a year and a half. No one. Thank you, Jake Kasky, and thank you, Dan Walsh. No that one first round was incredible. Thinking about taking a shot. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Who Take knew? down. This is gentlemen's rules. Yeah. We are standing here and trading. Throwing fisticuffs. Yeah, these guys came for a fist fight. You know, we thought, you know, hey, two good wrestlers. Let's see who's the better grappler. Now these guys came here to fight. Love it. You know, and it was the contrast of styles. You know, Kasky super aggressive, throwing the big hooks, looking for the big overhand right, switching stances too. But Danny Walsh, you know, he was very disciplined with that jab, trying to set up the right hand down the, down the pipe. And Dan did a good job too of throwing his own hooks. Every single time Kasky kind of came within uh, close range to do that. Yeah, you gotta check him with that tight little hook, and he did a good job of using it. Both guys earned each other's respect in that first round in the striking departments. Both landing clean shots of their own volition. This crowd is loving it. I'm loving it too. I agree with all these people in attendance. How could you not love this? Ooh, love it. Oh man, it feels so good to be back. <laughs> all right, let Here the we boys go. play. Right back at it. No time wasted in this second stanza. Oh, big oh hook. man. Moving backwards. Yeah, uh, Dan Walsh looks great moving backwards with that left hook. Oh, nice jab, too. Falling stiff up. jab. Look at that. Nice. Kasky, big left hand. And a right hand to follow. He throws. He doesn't just throw one bomb at you. He comes, flies over, and carpet bombs you with those hands. And, and also, big knee. Walsh is doing a great job of fighting tall. He's keeping him away. Nice uppercut from Walsh as Kasky's stuck in his head. Oh, man. That head kick landed. Didn't miss that one. What a chin on Jake Kasky. Oh my goodness. Oh, Lord. Kasky's hurt. He's and going here's for the, the takedown. First takedown. Big takedown. What a slam right in front of his corner, too. Huge right. opportunity. Oh, he's he in the arm bar. bar. That, that arm looks out. Oh, that looks tight. That, that looks, looks tight. tight. This could be it. Uh, it looks like his elbow is oh, out, but oh. I can't tell from here. Oh, he says he's good. He's not in his head. It looks like the elbow is, has breached the, uh, the crotch area to make it not as dangerous as it could be. Oh, but man. Walsh, a Lozon MMA fighter, you know he's got jujitsu chops, so he's going to hold on to this arm like I hold on to a pizza pizza. He's talking about yeah. go. Yeah, he's, he's tightening it, it up. Like he's going belly down. Oh, he's tightening it up. Kasky, Kasky too strong. Oh, and the elbow's there out. Is. He's out. Good job stacking and getting out. Now let's see what he's got for ground and pound. Walsh on his back, taking some shots after that arm bar. Walsh has got to move. He's hurt. He got hurt with that last right hand. His eyes wobbled back. Alan Lau's going to be taking a good oh, look at this. Oh, he's looking for the Delahiba. But he's staying cognizant. Very oh, nice Delahiba. Way to keep composure. Damn, Walsh, unbelievable. I thought he was on Queer Street there. But no, he comes back with that Delahiba. Gets the reversal. Back. And what a momentum shift. He's Kasky, got one hook in. Kasky's tired. He took a deep breath there. Gave up his back. Oh, okay. he's got both hooks in. He's looking for it. This could be it. He's going for a choke. Allen now looking close. It looks like he's off Kasky on the side. Kasky just gave a thumbs up. Kasky does it. He just got one of those hooks out. He's fighting oh, the he's chin. Oh, he's flattened out. But now this is much better for Dan This Walsh. would be a great time for Dan to let go and throw some Fall big out. strikes. There it is. Fall him out. What a momentum shift for Dan Walsh. Walsh has got to let it go here and get this TKO. Instead of throwing both hands, he'd be better off just posting and throwing big shots. Full rotation. Exactly. Oh, Kasky might be stuck here. He's it, too tired. Looks like the referee's going to stop and it. That's and it. that's it! Second oh, round. What a moment! TKO finish for Dan Walsh. And this place is absolutely on its feet right now. Bloodied and battered, but not broken. That man is now oh victorious. Oh God, the young man, Dan Walsh, 20 years old, coming in here and blowing the roof off the plane. In and front he, of a sold out crowd. And he had to overcome so much adversity in that short fight. Jake Kasky brought everything but the kitchen sink with him tonight. Threw everything he had standing, had him hurt on the ground with ground and pound. And honestly, I spoke too soon. It's been too long since I've been here to, to recognize what kind of heart goes into these kind of fights. Jake Kasky clipped him bad with some 
vicious ground and pound. It looked like Dan Walsh's eyes were rolling in the back of his head. I thought it would be too much for the debut and amateur, but I spoke wrong, and he corrected me to eat my words by coming back with a beautiful De La Hiva sweep and staying persistent with the ground and pound to get the second round finish. Incredible, incredible first mixed martial arts fight of the night. You know, you can spar as hard as you want, but it's a different, you know, percentage of strength of shot that you're going to eat when you're actually in the cage. And a lot of times that first fight, what you need to do is prove to yourself that you have what it takes and you have that type of chin. And Dan ate some big shots and was still able to stay composed and get the job done. Yeah, and so impressive for this 20-year-old young man to step in here, show so much composure, so much confidence in himself and uh, you know, get the finish against a very, very tough guy coming from a very tough camp. Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for these two warriors. <laughs> Referee Alan Lau has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 26 seconds of round number two, giving you your winner by TKO, Dan, only Dan's Whoa!